I want to keep this video very short. It's a circuit from a precision voltmeter analog for a 12 volt car battery. And the reason that I show it is because I'm testing the circuit at the moment. You see all the components free on the table, soldered together. And here is the microamperimeter. This is the microamperimeter that's here in the circuit. You can use all kinds of microamperimeters, doesn't matter much. In the earlier video I had made uh, a circuit for 24 volts, but now I'm testing it for a car battery from say 12.4 up to 15 volts. So I'm gonna test now uh, how this meter, how the pointer moves when I change the uh, voltage to the circuit. It's now on 12.1 volts. That's quite low for a car battery. And now I'm going to 13.2 volts. I hope the pointer is visible. 13.2, 14.8. So you see that there is a quite a long scale, and that's the, the aim from this circuit. It has a kind of extended scale. So it measures only in a limited range. And when you use such a circuit, uh, sorry, such a microparameter in a normal way. You will see for instance that uh, 12 volt is here and 14 volt is here, but that's not the case when you use this uh, kind of uh, current amplifier. I think I can call it this way, but I don't know that exactly. But uh, I think it's a useful circuit. I'm testing it now with uh, uh, potentiometers here. And when all is aligned well, I'm going to replace this potentiometer by uh, two fixed value resistors. And here I'm going to do the same. So that's the way to develop such a circuit. And you can develop uh, this circuit for all kinds of voltages. Say 6 volt or 12 volt, 18 volts, 24 volts, uh, 30 volts, etc.